Hey, it's Vinny. So Lucid reported earnings yesterday and they did not paint a very pretty picture. We're going to go over today. We're going to take a look at Lucid's outlook for the rest of 2023 and beyond here. And you know what I think of the company, I'm trying to figure out what the bull case for Lucid is. So in Q2, they produced 2,173 cars. They delivered 1,404. That was on revenue of 151 million and they had a net loss of 764 million, meaning they lost over $500,000 per car sold. Yikes. Some of the highlights from the report here, Aston Martin signed a strategic agreement to access Lucid's industry leading technologies, which will be at the center of its all new in-house battery electric vehicle platform. This landmark agreement marks the first such relationship for Lucid Group's technology arm, a realization of a vision that expands the reach of the company's products, paves the way for future more mainstream applications and reflects a strong validation of Lucid's technology prowess. So that was pretty interesting. It's also very interesting that Saudi Arabia's sovereign wealth fund they own 60% of Lucid, and they also have a 16.7% stake in Aston Martin. The second, they're the second largest shareholder for that company. Uh, so make of this announcement what you will. Now they've got 6.25 billion total liquidity, making up uh, comprised of their cash, cash equivalents, and investments. And that's a large part thanks to they raised $3 billion in capital through a public offering uh, that was partially funded by the PIF, which is the Public Investment Fund, the sovereign fund of Saudi Arabia. So they think this is uh, enough liquidity to get them through the start of the production of the Gravity SUV, which is slated to go into production in late 2024. Now, we'll take a look at their financials in a second here, but they basically have about six quarters of runway at the current run rate with the $6.25 billion. Uh, until they would go bankrupt if nothing changes. They also finalized an agreement with the government of Saudi Arabia in which Saudi Arabia agreed to purchase 100,000 Lucid vehicles over the next 10 years. Now, here's where it gets bad. As you can see, their net loss for the quarter here was 764 million, free cash flow negative 900 million. So like I said, they have about six quarters, give or take, of runway until they would go bankrupt if nothing changes here. And it's made worse when we look quarter over quarter here. Here's their revenue, their net income and free cash flow over the last few quarters. Revenue from Q2 of last year went up 50%, but their net income, or loss I should say, more than tripled. It's at negative 764 million, as I said, free cash flow negative 900 million. And there's a dire picture being painted here. So as you can see, things are not really improving, right? We wanna see these numbers getting closer to profitability, but in Q1 of 2023, their free cash flow was negative, more than negative 1 billion. Uh, net income loss was a little bit higher around the same, but this has just been increasing the last couple quarters here. And it also is not great to see that their production and delivery numbers have also been declining the last few quarters. So Q4 2022, they produced 3,500, delivered 1,900. Q1, they produced only 2,300, delivered 1,400. And you know, Q1 to Q2 here, we're looking at flat numbers. Um, the company did give guidance saying they think the second half of 2023 is going to be a lot stronger and they're going to have their best quarter in Q4, but well, that all remains to be seen. Now they're going to release this Galaxy SUV. It's on track to start production in late 2024, but you know, this is probably going to lose even more money until it gets up to scale. So when is it going to be up to a scale where it's making a profit? I mean, it's going to take a lot longer than the next six quarters uh, of their run of the cash that they have left. So I'm trying to think about where Lucid potentially could be here in this cycle on their path to eventual profitability. There's only two American automakers in history that have never gone bankrupt. Kind of gives you an idea of how extremely difficult it is to succeed in this industry. Those two companies being Ford and Tesla. And if we just look at Tesla, for example, it took them over a decade to reach profitability. 2020 was the first year when they posted a positive EPS and they sold just under 500,000 cars. So when they originally outlined the goal to sell 500 cars in 2020, many said it was impossible, similar to what you know we continue to see the naysayers of Tesla uh, say to their new initiatives today. But you know if we just kind of use that as a scale, Lucid has quite a ways to go. I mean, if Tesla's path was any guide, Lucid will need to nearly 100X their deliveries from where they stand today to reach profitability. And let's just say hypothetically that Tesla was somehow you know extremely inefficient and made a lot of mistakes and that lucid can turn a profit at say a hundred thousand cars delivered 
that's still a 20x from today's delivery numbers. So meanwhile, like we said, they've posted declining deliveries in production for the last three quarters, um, and the financials are not looking too great. They are burning a lot of money. They're going to run out of money in around six quarters if you know things don't change drastically. So as far as guidance, as I said, they expect deliveries to be up the second half of the year, and they expect Q4 to be their biggest quarter of the year. And this is as they ramp sales to customers in Saudi Arabia, they ramp the pure all-wheel drive uh, vehicle and introduce their most affordable variant, a pure rear-wheel drive, which will be coming in September. But the financials just are not looking good. The net income, free cash flow are not heading in the right direction. There's no telling when or if this company is going to become profitable. And then when you add to that the fact that this past week uh, they, the car maker slashed their car prices up to $12,400 meaning all signs are pointing toward they're going to be losing even more money uh, in the short term here. So I just don't really see what the bull case is with Lucid here. You know, they've got huge interest and investment from Saudi Arabia, and, you know, they probably will not let the company go bankrupt. They just juiced them with another, you know, $3 billion. If it wasn't for the recent $3 billion capital raise, Lucid would only have around $3 billion in cash. So, you know, Saudi Arabia is probably going to do everything they can to keep their big investment here from going bankrupt. But outside of that, I just don't really see what the huge bull case is here. I'm not seeing the company turn a corner in which there's a path to profitability. In fact, they're just losing, you know, more and more or steady amounts of money, it appears. And their scale is not kind of ex exponentially exploding to the upside here. So I don't really see a reason to take a chance on Lucid right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What is the bull case for Lucid? And if you enjoyed this video, I'll be covering Rivian next. They report earnings today. So don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts in the comments below.